Oh, it's disappointing because uh, I don't think we could ask for a better start than we had. You know, uh, it's tough, tough, tough to lose it this way. It's definitely frustrating. Uh, got ourselves a lead and just couldn't hold it. Uh, nothing else to say. 825, Kirk McLean without the Calgary Flames jersey back here on the couch. But there you hear it. Words from Ryan Miller. We were hoping that we would be getting ready for Game 7 tonight. A lot of questions as we go into the offseason. Ryan Miller, what do you see? Is he still going to be the number one guy next year? Well, right now he is for sure. I mean, he's got another couple years on his contract. Uh, he had a wonderful year this year, regular season. He got injured at the end. Eddie Lack comes in and does a, a, a great job. Uh, this game in particular, um, Ryan was great in the first period. And I'm not saying he was bad the rest of the game. There's probably a few rebounds that, that he was absorbing uh, earlier in the game that uh, somewhat led to a few goals. And at the other end of the rink, a goaltending change. Yeah. That did that spark things, or was it already going down that path? Well, in your it, opinion, it may have sparked it a little bit. You know, sometimes you just need that 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 change, that uh, that little spark. Uh, but we ended up getting a goal on Ramos, I believe we did, and and uh, um, but they scored that late goal in the third in the first period. That was the difference, I think. That really gave them uh, a little bit of energy, got the crowd back into it, and from then on. Um, you know, it felt like uh, we were back on our heels a wee bit. Yes, we scored again uh, to go up 4-3, uh, uh, but we're, we couldn't hold it at the end there. Still kind of a nervous. Kind of a, uh, uh, I must say, a little bit of a uh, bad call, uh, the goaltender interference there. That was, to me, not, uh, not interference. Tough call with the officiating, but now we look really at this offseason <clears> and say, what is the outlook? I mean, you look at the Oilers potentially getting Connor McDavid yeah. with the lottery draft going their way, the Flames. This is a good young team. Yeah. What do you see as the outlook for the Canucks? Do they need to make some serious moves in the offseason? Because the, their competition is getting younger, and it's only a matter of time before the Flames and Oilers are right there and possibly overtaking them in the standings in the well, regular season. They're not, not going to jump to conclusions right away. I mean, they got the summer now to, to uh, uh, assess what uh, the situation is. Of course, there's contract uh, issues, whether no trades or, or uh, money I mean getting getting rid of some some money but uh, you know I think they're fine I mean uh, you know everybody uh, thinks that the, the core of the team's getting a little long in the tooth um, they, they, they may be a little bit older but it's a different game now you know guys are in unbelievable shape and they can play longer uh, than, than in the past so um, you know they'll sit back and uh, you know they'll go through their team meetings now and 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 get feedback from the players of what they're what they're thinking and and whether it's what they need or, or, or what have you so uh, you know, there's no, there's no need to panic. I mean, it, uh, they'll make it happen. Now, speaking to that, we talked a lot when Trevor was named president, <clears throat> and then he brought in Jim Benning, and then they brought in Coach Willie Desjardins. Would anybody call, uh, uh, knowing what we know now, how this team has performed, when Trevor was right. appointed president, would anybody have been disappointed right. with this? That's exactly right. And listen, I was I, I, one of those persons that, uh, you know, didn't ex wasn't expecting a lot out of them. Um, if they if they got to the playoffs, uh, that was an achievement, and they did. Uh, but having said that, 101 points, that's pretty darn good to get into uh, into the playoffs. That's a lot of uh, pressure hockey to get into to get to that number. So what happens is expectations change as the, as it goes on. And and uh, but having again, uh, uh, Calgary, give them credit. They only finished four points behind us, mm -hmm. and they are that was a good hockey club. They're you know they're pretty well uh, well matched. They they brought a little bit more or a lot more energy to it uh, they were a lot more physical that's for sure um, but um, you know feisty. They, they, feisty is right they were there they were right there with the team and, and at the end of the day they, they were the better team if we were to look to the next era of the Vancouver Canucks I think Bo Horvat is leading the charge with the youth movement what is the state what the reality for the Vancouver Canucks with their young crop of players sure you have the Sidians that have led this team yeah. year after year but that youth movement that we could see uh, for the next season yeah I think it's it's in, it's in good hands I think there's some great young players coming up and and as, as you said Bo has really matured through the year here uh, I thought it had a great uh, uh, playoff for his first one um, he, he scored some big goals and and made some big plays and he's he's Kind of like a man child he really is i mean he's a big dude to begin with for yeah. for his age and um really took it upon himself uh, you know i think it's documented that he's come out and said he was worried about his skating and his speed and that's something that he worked on through the year and and has improved that so that's the type of guy he is that, that's a leader right there so uh, definitely going to look for for good things from him um 
And again, with the core, uh, I don't have any problems with, with the Sedines or the BXs and, you know, whether they make a change just to kind of uh, shake it up. Probably not. They're not going to do anything unless they get something in return for anybody, let alone those guys. Worst part about cleaning out your locker? It, cleaning out your locker. Yeah. <laughs> Re it, reality really, reality when, when sets in, and, yeah. and like today, you, you go to work, and it's like, oh, we don't have to go on the ice. What, you know, then the media is scrum and, and having to answer all the questions and, and uh, uh, usually the same ones over and over in different contexts. But, but that's part of the gig, and, and um, you know they. You know they're they're definitely disappointed without a doubt, uh, especially the way it ended, being up three nothing and and not be able to, to uh, bring it back for tonight. Um, but they they had a good season, they really did, and and uh, it's something to build on. Kirk McLean, thank you so much for joining us on Game Days. Well, let's not stop days. here. I'm always available to come you can, in. You can come in. You can come in any time <laughs> you want. Who is your team now? Who do, who do you think is the real contender for the cup? Well, I, real contender. Um, Gosh, and New York's playing pretty well. Um, Islanders are Rangers. Islanders are playing, well. but you got sleepers. Look at Minnesota. Yeah. I mean, my goodness, they're playing good hockey. But we're picking Canada's you team. Know, we're going Calgary. I'm going. I'm going Calgary. I, I say that again because they beat our Canucks, so I'd prefer them to go all the way. Uh, growing up in Toronto. Can't, I was not a Montreal have. fan, so I can't go that can't side. Uh, but um, at the end of the day, if we do get at least one Canadian team in the finals, uh, we need that. I mean, it's been a while since the Canadian teams won the Cup. Go Canada, go. I'm going on the Habs side on this. I know you guys are both going for the Flames. But <laughs> uh, like you said, it was a good regular season, yeah. and hopefully the boys will be back in a big way uh, next season. Kirk, thanks so yeah. much for coming on. Pleasure. Always. See you soon. Always, yeah.